Did you know this about Harry Potter? The reason why Remus was exhausted on the Hogwarts Express is because he has just been the full moon. He barely slept the past couple of days. Did you know this in Harry Potter? The blanket that Harry is wrapped in when he's left with the Dursleys was actually kept by Petunia and was left to Harry by her will after she died. Did you know this in Harry Potter? The girl that played Susan Bones in The Philosopher's Stone is actually Chris Columbus' daughter, the director of the first two Harry Potter films. Did you know this in Harry Potter? The last time the Tribes of Tournament was held, before 1994, was in 1792. But after the death of Cedric Diggory at the hands of Voldemort, the Tribes of Tournament was never held again. The Goblet of Fire was extinguished forever. Did you know this in Harry Potter? Harry asked Draco in the Deathly Hallows movie why he pretended not to recognize him when he was brought to the Malfoy Manor. Draco was interrupted by Goyle and we didn't hear the answer from him. But in the book, Draco was more assertive. He even told Goyle to stop trying to kill Harry. Is it possible that Draco was a good person who was forced to do everything? Did you know this in Harry Potter? In the films, it looks like Dumbledore magically conjures food on the tables, but there is a law of magic that states that one cannot magically create food at all. So in the book, we get to see a kitchen directly below the Great Hall, with four identical tables there. The food is prepared by the house elves. They put it on the tables below, allowing Dumbledore to transport their food to the tables above. Did you know that Daniel Radcliffe broke more than 80 magic wands while filming Harry Potter because he was drumming on his legs with it all the time? Did you know this about Harry Potter? Percy told Harry that Snape was seeking the post of defense against the Dark Arts for many years. But the reason why Dumbledore never granted him his wish is because he well knew that the post is cursed by Voldemort and Dumbledore never wanted Snape to leave Hogwarts. In the Philosopher's Stone, it was never revealed who gave Harry the invisibility cloak on Christmas. The cloak was in James' possession, but Dumbledore borrowed it to examine it, since he was after the Deathly Hallows for many years. However, James died and Dumbledore had to give the cloak back to Harry, the rightful owner of this heirloom. Did you know this in Harry Potter? During Harry's first Christmas at Hogwarts, Molly made him a Weasley jumper and it was among the first Christmas presents Harry had ever received. Molly did this because Ron told her that Harry might not get any gifts at all. Did you know this about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? In this deleted scene inside Borgin and Burks, Harry hid from Draco inside the cabinet you see right here, which is actually a vanishing cabinet, and it plays a huge role in the Half-Blood Prince, as its other half is the one that Draco tries to fix at Hogwarts, that the Death Eaters used to enter the school. Did you know this in Harry Potter? Richard Harris, who played Albus Dumbledore, thought that Fawkes, the Phoenix, was actually a real bird. <laughs> Richard came in and looked at the phoenix and yeah. said, wow, they train these animals marvelously these days. Did you know that although Dolores Umbridge was subjecting Ennis and Muggle Bones to the prison of Dementors and believing in the pure blood supremacy, Umbridge wasn't a pure blood herself. Her father was a wizard, but her mother was a muggle. She even had a square brother. Did you know that in Harry Potter, when Harry gets up and fires a curse towards Nagini, there is a deleted scene where Draco called Harry's name and tried to give him his wand. Bam! Did you know about this mistake in Harry Potter? When Hagrid was explaining to Harry how his parents died, we can clearly see that Lily was wearing a purple sweater when she was killed by Voldemort. However, when jumping to the Deathly Hallows Part 2, especially during Snape's memories, we can see that Lily was wearing something blue before she died. And even in the scene, when Snape was hugging her dead body, it becomes very obvious that Lily is now wearing a blue sweater instead of purple.